that's a good segue into actually what I was going to ask you next. Um, so, you know, there's been a lot of reports of different deaths in, in, in the fitness industry. Now, the... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If they all related to one thing. I mean, it's different different causes. I mean, but generally speaking, um, do you think the coaches should be taking uh, accountability for some of the things that are happening? I mean, when a hurt, when a client gets hurt, you know. Well, I think athletes should ask more questions. You know, athletes are as responsible as the coach because if a coach says do this and you don't question it, it's your fault. You know, don't put it on the coach. The coach is just trying to see if whatever he gave his at last athlete is going to work on you. So sometimes they get a little lazy on the protocols and they forget that each person, each body uh, um, reacts differently. You know, so ask the questions, you know, ask the questions to why, why am I doing this? Why not this? If they don't have an answer, be weary, you know. Now you have to worry about that because it's bad. Every coach should have an answer to any protocol that he is giving you. He just can't bring it out of thin air and make you a lab rat or just a, a, a last minute thought, you know. You should ask the questions, you know. If you start taking diuretics, you know, a week before instead of a night or two before, that's bad. I mean, why have you been dieting all this time? Why have you been doing cardio all this time? Why have you been forcing all these meals, all these training sessions? So you can now take a drug that one, will not keep your muscle, will deflate your muscle, will dehydrate you, will, 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 will put strain on your heart, you know, lower your blood pressure. I mean, it shouldn't be taken for longer than a day, you know, so, Question that, you know, so blaming it on the coach alone, I think that's another scapegoat. You know, I know some of the coaches can be a little, you know, they, a lot of coaches run a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So, no, no, a lot of coaches run a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. You know, right. if you train with them, you got to follow, you're them. The you gotta man. follow them. Right. Yeah, you're great. You follow them, you leave them, they'll fucking call you the worst athlete ever. You know, and uh, listen, if you're training the athlete for free, you know, by all means, you know, air out your, you know, grievance, you know, but if the athlete's paying you, no, he's allowed to leave you. I worked with many top coaches. I don't think I ever left in, a, in any bad way or form because I would say, hey, you know, we worked, uh, we haven't been to uh, able to hit the mark. And uh, I want to see if I work with this other coach and, and be verbal about it. You know, don't do that weird, you know, you know, try to get another girl while you're still married. You know, it's like, listen, just, you know, break up with your girl, get yourself another girl and just just, you know, try not to be that player. You know, I hate when people come up to me and say, hey, Victor, what do you think about my diet? And I said, well, who gave you that diet? Well, I have my coach. I said, I, I really don't feel comfortable. Right, and to intervene, right? Yeah, that, that's, I don't do that. And that's the first question I always ask, you know? Oh, yeah, my coach is right there. I said, listen, no, man, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. But listen, for me to judge you on your whole diet, I have to have been there from the beginning. If he's doing it and you've been doing it for six weeks, listen, just trust him. That's it. That's all I can do. I can speak on the behalf of the coach, not knowing if the coach knows anything about anything. But don't try to find, you know, consolement through somebody that, you know, does have some knowledge, but did not create any part of your diet or supplementation regimen. You know, so don't don't do that. athletes. don't do that. Um, I know athletes that do that uh, many times. They, they look at me, come see me, and they have now five opinions, and they still have one coach, and that one coach is the same as a coach and a dietitian. Don't do that. You're confusing yourself. You're doing yourself uh, 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 of, you know, it's just, uh, um, how do you say, um, you're not putting yourself in a good position, you know, to trust yourself.